Okay, folks, this is, uh, I'm trying to explain now the connections to my filters because people have asked me to do some kind of manual and this is a video manual. So I've selected the smallest filter I make, which is the Epicompact. Um, I've taken all the internals out of it, the brush box and the cartridge block. Um, and I'm going to explain the stubs that are on this um, filter. It's all the same with all the other filters, so this is no different. It just happens to be the smallest one and I can handle it easier. Now, this stub here I must point this out in advance, is made of polypropylene, just like the rest of the filter is. So to connect this stub and all other stubs to standard PVC pipe, you will be needing a rubber connector. So that's a thing to bear in mind. I'm gonna take the top off the filter now and um, I'll talk about this stub first. This is the inlet stub. Now it doesn't matter if you're using a gravity fed or a pump fed filter. This is where the inlet comes. It's on the front face of the box just before the brush box inside. Now, inside the filter, I'll try and show you this, directly below the inlet stub is the drain stub. This also needs to be connected with a rubber fitting to get onto PVC tube. Now, obviously, we need a valve somewhere below here so that we can control when we wish to discharge the filter. So that's the two important ones. The, on the Epic Compact and the Epic Compact Plus, these are two inch in diameter. The only difference with the larger filters is that um, they are larger inlet and drain stubs. Now, moving on. This is the air connection to the filter. I've shown this before, but the air, there's an aerated base at the bottom of the filter, although you can't see this is drilled with one milli holes, many of them. And so this is connected to an air pump, usually by ordinary garden hose. Now, this end box is where the clever part comes in. Um, if the filter is to be pump fed then this outlet at the end needs to be capped off with a rubber end cap and what will happen is that water will come through horizontally and start to fill up this end box. When water reaches this level, it will go straight down and exit underneath the filter here. This also needs to be connected with a rubber boot to go back to the pond in PVC tube or similar. Now, alternatively, 
if this is to be gravity fed then this particular pipe should be stopped with an end cap and this is connected to the pump that will send water back to the pond that's the only things you need to know the difference with the larger filters as I've mentioned before is that they have three inch here three inch there and a three inch at the end for pump fed units the outlet end on the larger units if they are to be gravity fed will be open to take a pump that takes water back into the pond and I think that's all I have to say about it. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five stubs to connect to. Thank you for watching.